Hey guys, Fiend Fan 91, and I'm talking about the PS5 event. Now, I know you've probably read the title, and let's face it, this event more so I think is about the price, despite that that was just revealed. But before that, I'm just going to talk about a couple games before we actually get into the pricing. First off, Final Fantasy 16. I mean, they started off the conference with this, it was kind of cool, and then it's the console exclusive, so that means that it's not coming out to the Xbox Series X. So that's a little weird. Weird that they're getting Final Fantasy back, at least for now as a Sony console exclusive. They also showed Spider-Man, Miles Morales gameplay, that's good. And then one of the good things they showed before revealing the price was they called the PlayStation Plus Collection. It has a bunch of PS4 games that basically you can just download. I think this is just if you're a PlayStation Plus member and you probably don't need to even have owned the games in the past or nothing, you can just download all these games once you get your PS5. So that is good in my opinion. Now let's get on to the price. Pricing, it was expected. $4.99 for the PS5 and $3.99 for the PS5 All Digital Edition. My bold prediction was not right. They did not undercut Microsoft by going $4.49.99 and $3.49.99. But still, this is going to make things interesting. They're the same price as the Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X being slightly more powerful with the GPU. And it's just one of those things. It's like, how is this going to work out? We, we, we do think that Sony has more exclusives. I mean... During the conference, they showed at least a couple, maybe more, I wasn't sure exactly all, but they did show which, which games were going to be exclusive to their console. So that was good. Because there are going to be a lot of factors, I believe, as to which consoles people go for. Because Sony has already admitted, basically, by saying that you have to sign up for pre-orders. You can't just pre-order the system. You have to actually sign up. They have to pick you for pre-orders. That consoles may be limited on opening day. So that may be a factor. Also, with the Xbox Series S, I still believe that maybe Microsoft's ace in the hole. That's actually the cheapest set. I think a lot of people may still be going for that, especially people who don't care about 4K or stuff like that. But we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, everything's out of the bag now. The prices, everything. Yes, they're pretty much predictable. But still, what do you guys think about the pricings of all the consoles, actually? And who do you think has, like, the advantage this year? Just based on what we know. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.